Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. And today joining me is Jimmy Weeks with Insights Engine. Thank you so much for joining us for this Google Marketing Workshop. This is one of my favorite things to talk about. Jimmy, I know it's one of your favorite things to talk about. Definitely. Um, all these cool ways to get new traffic coming into your business. This one I really like because you can do it without ads. You can do this organically, which is pretty cool. Um, so Jimmy's in California. I'm in North Carolina, and we're going to be hosting this workshop. I want to show you a couple of case studies of some clients we've been working with that have seen great results from this Google marketing tactic. And then I want to show you the results in the dashboard and how we're able to track this and then how you can use this to grow your business. You ready, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Cool. So I want to start out with the Hive. This is a customer we've been working with, and this is a Google My Business listing. You might have already seen this. Um, on, they even have TV commercials about it. Google says, list your business on Google My Business, on TV commercials all over the web. And it's something that seems like a lot of people and business owners just don't get around to setting up. They've heard about it. Maybe they have set it up, but they haven't put a lot of time into it. Let's just take a quick look at this. 97,998 views this month. If you don't have your Google My Business listing set up, shut off this video and go set it up now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after this video. <laughs> Maybe after the video. <laughs> because in this video, we're going to be helping you actually set it up and tell you how to set it up properly so you get these types of results. Now, this company didn't start out with 97,000 searches. They started out with just a couple thousand searches. Over time, over the last year, they went from 1,000 searches a month to 5,000, to 10,000, to 20, to now a year later that they're, they're averaging around 100,000 searches every single month. And guess what? Google's putting this at the top of search results. If you Google anything on your phone, the first thing that's going to show up most likely is a Google Maps or a Google My Business listing, even over ads sometimes, over Google SEO. You can see we're outranking booking.com and TripAdvisor because Google's putting the maps right at the top. What that is, is this listing here on the top. Most likely you're gonna see them look like this, where when you pull up that search, you're gonna see a nice picture, the reviews, the views, the, the local search where they're at on the map, and then what other, whatever other info they put here. That's just one example. And I'll, we'll jump back to this in a minute. Second example I wanna show you, this is another business, local business, 20,000 views this month. Um, they were averaging a couple hundred every single month. 27 five-star reviews, um, their nice pictures, their products, which we're going to touch on later, their times they're available. But this is really something, if you haven't started working on this, that you should start setting up right away. And Jimmy, number one question, yeah. what if I'm not a local business, can I still be on this? You sure can. A lot of our clients are franchise clients, and they will do business across the United States. And they don't do business in there. They will come to people's homes or residence. A lot of our clients are senior care. So they go do in-home care. So they don't do business at their home. Even though you can put your web address or your physical address in there, you can turn it off so it's not viewable. What about e-commerce businesses? That's the second most question <laughs> I get. Oh, most definitely e-commerce with products loaded into your Google um, My Business profile or Google My Profile profile. Um, when they come to the website and purchase, they're tagged as Google My Business. So you can actually see a revenue channel unto itself, which is your Google My Business. And that's why I wanted to show this one here. This is an e-commerce store we've been working with. Uh, we set it up on the software that we're gonna be recommending today. Uh, we've set them up on the Google My Business listing. I mean, how incredible is this? 98, pretty much 98 five-star reviews here, which is really cool. Did you know that Google sees those keywords in the reviews and they'll start ranking your website for that? Pretty interesting. But here's what Jimmy was just speaking about. They can actually put their products right here in the listing. Now, what's funny to me is a lot of people get hung up and set and excited about Facebook shop and Instagram shop, right? You can connect your store, list your products on there. But why do you not get around to the Google My Business shop and putting your products here? Most people put all their time into posting their pictures and products on Instagram, but you totally are forgetting to add your products on Google where people are actually searching for your products, right? 
So one thing that we really want to touch on today is that. Um, I have a quick question for you. When you go back to the hive and those 98,000 searches, how does that translate into actions or what, what's, what are people doing that are trackable on your website? Well, that's one thing most people don't know or don't even know how to find out, right? So just a quick summary of that in your login, in the dashboard, in the back end here. Um, and Jimmy, this is something you've actually taught me. When you go to the see new profile performance and you scroll down here, you can actually see the exact keywords people are searching for. That's and, not enough. Yeah, but there's more. But wait, there's more. What we really want to do is optimize on these keywords, see where that traffic's coming from, what they're searching for, and then what pages they're going to, all the way to where they purchase, which is where the software is going to show us exactly where those purchases happen. Yeah. And in addition to just website visits or purchases, there's phone calls and there's driving directions. So one of those keyword phrases was best coffee in a, a, a particular city. There's 500 and some searches. So go to do, run a Facebook ad, run a Google ad, use those searches or use those keyword searches that people are using in your keyword for your campaign and look at your Google My Business, look at the zip codes that those searches are coming in from. And now you have your demographic, you have your keyword phrase that people are already using and you have the zip codes that people are searching from. <laughs> That's crazy. You kind of know exactly where that person's coming from. You just sure do. All right. So that's just a couple of things that we're going to be covering today. I'm going to send everyone that signed up this, uh, this worksheet here that you can use. And we'll be adding notes exactly how to get this set up. Um, so first thing I wanted to show you was this case studies about the two businesses that pretty much 10x the results on Google. This is one of them, 97,000 searches a month. This is another one, 20,000 searches a month. I mean, just think if you had another extra thousand just visitors per month coming out of nowhere, right? How you can use this Google marketing channel for your business. So we're actually gonna break this down into the reviews, the photos and adding your products and services. And then the software you should use to track that performance and how to get this set up on Google My Business. So make sure um, you check your email after, I'll send you all um, this. And if you are joining late on the replay, just leave us a comment and just uh, type in workshop and we'll send you this workshop sheet so you have it handy. Pretty cool. All right, so how you can use this Google marketing channel for your business. First of all, if you don't have it set up yet, go set it up. And the searches, you're basically gonna type in business.google.com. And that's, all you, that's where you go. So you'll know right away when you go to that link, if it says sign in or get started. So if you're brand new, you've never set it up, it'll probably say get started. Go ahead and fill that out and fill out those basic infos. And before you forget, make sure you bookmark that page in your browser so you remember where to go back and access it. Now I'm gonna show you the back end of the Google My Business software real quick. So you're gonna see that they have the home, the posts, the info, insights, reviews, calls, messages. They have all this stuff. Don't worry about that yet. Just get your business profile set up. Make sure it gets approved. Now, once you get it approved, I want you to go to the insightsengine.io and set up a free account, a free trial account. And that's where you're gonna come in and connect your Google My Business to this software so you can start seeing those true analytics that are coming in. And what's cool is most people don't have this. You can actually see purchases from it. So if anyone comes from your Google My Business and ends up going to purchase, you're gonna be able to start seeing this in the dashboard here. And Brad, could you just pull up the Insights Engine main page and we want to show people what uh, all the perfect. So if you can see, you see here, we have Google Analytics, Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Insights, Facebook Ads, Google Page Speed, which is really cool. And obviously Google My Business or now Google My Profile, social reviews and LinkedIn advertising. So we have about nine integrations currently and we will go back and get eight, up to 18 months of history. So when you load the engine and you have your free trial, that's all the stuff you can connect in and see all in one screen. 
some other cool things once you get those connected, which uh, of course we're going to help you once you set up a free trial and get that connected. Somebody will reach out, help you make sure to get those all get connected. But now you're going to be able to see the performance from Google. Well, from everything, but let's talk about yeah. Google today. You're going to be able to see the conversion rate from Google, the purchases from Google, um, everything from Google, <laughs> exactly yeah. what they search. Type. Yeah. Keywords, product type. Jimmy, tell me where to go to check some of those keywords. Yeah, if you kind of scroll search. down, you can see product revenue by product name. So for Rampage, they're Riot Medium Roast Whole Bean in five pound bags is the highest uh, is the highest quantity and the um, yeah product revenue and then um, the highest product revenue. Then over on the right, you see the sources with the highest. And if you can organize it on um, uh, product revenue, the columns are off because we resized. But if, if you could refresh the page at the top, I think that would help line up the columns. Okay, great. And you'll be able to see exactly how many searches from the Go your Google My Business. Yep. Then you're gonna be able to see exactly, um, let me just find this real quick before I lose my train of thought. You'll be able to see how many people search from Google My Business. How many people visited your website? How many people actually followed through and there we go. made a purchase and how many views here? Yeah. And the average order value on the right is also really cool. Um, their SMS text message, the third source, it has the highest average order value of $72. Pretty interesting information there. Why do you need this interesting information as a business owner? Why do you need to know this stuff? Why don't you just post a post and see if sales come in? If I knew that, could you go to the top and change the date to the last 30 days? Oh, it is. Okay, change it to April. Yep. And then scroll back down to that on the right. All right, here we go. If you know that the number two source of traffic is SMS to your existing customers that doesn't cost anything except the cost of your SMS service, wouldn't you make that one of your most important things? Um, I think so. But most people yeah. don't know where that traffic and those sales are coming from. Yeah, And I think we can really do a lot with this. This software is very helpful for that to see where your sales are coming from and how to focus on more. Now you know Google SEO Organic brought in 46 orders and $2,900. Yeah. So that's what I wanna dive into next is exactly how to set this up to get sales and get more visitors from Google. And then um, how you can start tracking it in the software, which is really cool. So let's dive back into the Hive, which I think is one of my favorites to show here. And we're just gonna look at these. So 189,000 searches, in the first quarter, 19,000 on search, 292,000 on maps. What did I say at the beginning? Google knows people prefer maps. So you need to have your business on maps. And if you can get that optimized, not just set it up, but fill out everything we're gonna show you today. If you can fill that out and be consistent, you're gonna get 292,000 searches on map. 1,450 went to the website, 1,300 asked for directions, 95 calls. Um, now we can see where people are actually searching for on the map. Um, what time of day, which is another important thing to know, right? Photo views, just some really cool stuff that you can start learning about in here. So you're telling me in the last quarter, they had 1,400 searches to, or visits to the website. To the website. Or I know a lot of clients that that's all they get from every source. And I'm sure people <laughs> yep. that are on this line probably feel the same way. 1,400, 1,450 visits to your website and go back to the dashboard for Rampage and tell me what the conversion rate is. Um, go up to do website performance and go to the top there you go, traffic performance. Yep. So chugga, chugga, chugga. So the conversion rate is 5%. So, oh my gosh, it's so low. 
I'm kidding. <laughs> the average website <laughs> conversion like, rate what are you is talking zero, about? 0. 001 percent Yeah. So let me do some quick math. So 1,450 divided by 4.5, that's 322 purchases at a, four, at a 5% conversion rate. And you, you know why I'm so confident and so excited to teach you guys and help you with the Google My Business, getting this tracking set up is because it's free. You're not paying for ads. Well, you're not um, paying for you know SEO, a ton of SEO. You're just basically taking your pictures, taking your reviews, taking your posts that you post anyways on Facebook, yep. and you're copying and pasting them over here. Um, and your so FAQs, the, FAQs and coupons. But that's where people are searching. You got people searching for you on Google. Why don't yep. you show up for it for free? Yep. So a couple of things we really want to focus on is, and you're going to see this in our checklist here once you get it set up. First thing is set up your hours, location, and services. We all know this. Second most important thing I think I, you should focus on is five to 10 really high quality photos. If we look at this example listing here, the, you'll see the first three photos are here. We want these to look great. We want them to show the searcher, you know, hey, this is exactly what you're searching for. If you're looking for a hotel, I should see a hotel here. If I'm looking for a spa, I should see a spa here. If I'm looking for coffee, well, I don't see coffee here. So that's maybe something <laughs> they should improve. <laughs> now they do have the relationship factor here, which I think is number two. So relationships, who's the owner, why they should work with you, why they should trust you. I did recommend to them that they put a picture of the owners on here. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason usually for the order Google puts these photos in, but make it personal, add their products, add your services. So when they search for coffee, they should see coffee and then add some personal relationships of who the owner is. Um, and pretty, they make it really easy to add that. You just have to go look for photos and add photos. Pretty simple. Just follow those steps. <laughs> um, next one is reviews. So not only um, does Google look for the keywords in those reviews, but it's the first thing people see. So when they search for a hotel, they're going to see a picture of the hotel. And what's the first thing you look for when you look for a hotel or think about your business, whatever you offer, you look at the reviews and you can pull those up and you can see, all right, have they been averaging five out of five star reviews? Yes. So they're probably trustworthy. Send it to your friends, send it to your family, send it to your son or your mom. Whoever you want to send it to, just ask them to leave you a five-star reviews. And I usually recommend 10 or more. So start with 10. 10 people you know, current clients you have, people you know, and specifically ask them, will you leave me a five-star review? So they click those five stars there. Um, oh, last thing on reviews, I did mention people look for the keywords. So if somebody leaves a review and says, this hotel, see how they put hotels in their review there? Google's going to give you, yeah. Google's going to give you some credit for that. They're going to say, oh, so people are leaving five-star reviews for the word hotel, which is really cool. And something really quick on reviews. Um, when somebody leaves a review and you get a notification, immediately respond to that review, whether it's good or bad, even if it's excellent, say, thank you very much. I'm glad uh, you enjoyed the experience. If you get a review, you get two points. If you respond to the review quick, you get like five points. There's an algorithm that Google, Facebook, and Yelp interact with. And let's say somebody leaves a bad review on your site. It happens. You can't please everybody. Somebody leaves a bad review, immediately respond. And everybody here, I'm sure, has had a bad review that was bogus. If you immediately respond to that review and say, we don't know who you are, you're not in our system, and then you reach out to Yelp, Yelp will look at that review, they will see your response, they will see if that person only has one review, and the only time they reviewed was to come in and spam on you. So if you get in a habit of immediately responding to reviews, number one, your good reviews will stay there, your bad reviews can be removed if it was a false review. 100%. And I agree with you on even responding to bad reviews. You know, and I think of I've seen some studies where millennials and, you know, the next up and coming generation, they don't, they know that there's fake reviews out there. Yeah. They know that people leave bad reviews. 
But what they look for is the business's response. Yeah. So what they're looking for is if you respond and argue with them, probably not. You want to just respond respectfully and let it be. We were looking the other day for a canine. We have a, an English chocolate lab puppy and we were looking for daycare so we don't have to kill ourselves every day. We found a company. They had a really bad two-star review. Owner owned up to it. The person went in and changed the review to a 3.5. That's awesome. And yeah. you read that as a consumer. Yeah. So we weren't so super excited. And then we're like, you know what? Things happen in this day and age. You own up to it. And yeah. Exactly. So that's that. Reviews. 10 or more reviews. Respond back immediately. It's really going to help your search on the listing. Number three, you're going to see in the checklist. Um, add your services or products here. It, somebody can actually come here and just purchase. So why wouldn't you put your services and products? Number one, product show. Number two, people see the pictures, which look really good. Number three, it adds more keywords. So if somebody's looking for dark roast coffee here, dark roast coffee products will show up. If somebody's looking for something specific at the spa for this um, lotion or whatever this is, this product will show up here. So you want to show your services and products because if somebody types in Kevin Murphy into Google, Kevin Murphy Spa, we want this product to show up for those keywords. And then people can click on them and purchase them right away. Another cool thing is once you list these and you're using the software to track it, you're going to be able to see those purchases from the Google My Business listing. So now you can go back and say, hey, somebody searched for my service and clicked on this product and purchased this product, hey, maybe we need to put more effort into that product on, on our Google listing. So you could track it all the way from Kevin Murphy search to them clicking here, to them buying from you, to them opening your email, all in the, this nice little software here. Pretty easy to follow. I also and wanna without, cover start, go ahead, Jimmy. And without blowing anybody's mind, Google My Business has the ability to put a coupon offer. So you can attach a coupon offer in Google My Business. When you get in and do revenue, it will show up as a line item with a discounted offer. Oh, that's cool. Post a nice coupon offer. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right. So now once your products and services are in there, you have your hours and location, you've got some great photos, you've got your Google reviews in there your services, like I mentioned, whatever you post on your website, copy and paste over here. If you're doing blogs and articles, even new pages, um, I just had a, a runaway headphone. <laughs> um, even new pages, copy and paste them. Take that extra one minute. That's really all it takes. You take that picture you put on your website, you put it here. You copy and paste the first snippet or description of your blog, you put it here. And all you got to do is learn more, add your URL. So now you're giving more keywords to Google. You're adding a little snippet of your blog in here to get them to your website. You're adding more value. Um, you're getting more searches. You're getting more clients. You're getting more sales from doing that. Pretty straightforward. Um, the, on top of that, whatever you post on social media, post it here also. You spend, people spend so much time on, like I mentioned, their Facebook and Instagrams. They're thinking that's going to bring them all the leads and clients they've ever wanted. Um, not really. But if you're going to spend that much time on there, copy and paste it here so you get even better results. And here's a little tip. This came from Google. Um, we're a Google, my um, Google, we're a Grow with Google partner. That COVID-19 update, if you go in and put an update there and say, hey, we still don't have forks, we're doing plastic silverware and we're doing packets of salt and pepper uh, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, and by the way, we have a coupon offer for delivery. Google is putting those COVID-19 updates at the very, very top. So there's a neat little trick there to continue using the COVID-19 uh, update for COVID-19 precautions, but also roll in a nice low coupon offer there. I might go do that for myself. Since we're all virtual, you don't have to wear a mask because we're virtual. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we meet on Zoom for our COVID policy. That's right. That's awesome. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for setting up your Google My Business listing. Of course, we will help you with this if needed. You sign up for the free trial of the software, make sure it gets connected, and we'll reach out to you to either connect it, help, help you connect it, or set this up, help you with those reviews, help you with the pictures, teach you how to use the social media post on there, and then how to find those best performing keywords, which I want to just cover real quick before we get back to the dashboard. Once you get this all set up, you start seeing these cool numbers and some stats and everything come in. You can go into here. You're gonna be able to see every little detail, maps on desktop, maps on phones, um, on the search, but then even more important, you're gonna see exactly what those people are searching for. So myself as a business owner, if I know 583 people interacted with my business for the word best hotels in Wilmington, I'm gonna write a blog about it. I'm gonna write a, a social media post about it. I'm gonna have that somewhere on my website. I know people are looking for this. So now I can take a ton of action to get even more on top of that. Um, same thing for you. When you go back in here, you wanna see exactly what those posts are. If I can navigate back to the insights. Let's see what these searches are for here. So now I know people are searching for a spa in this area. They're looking for a shop. Um, I know they don't help with bald hair. <laughs> I don't know many people that do. So that might be one you'd avoid. I'm not going to write any content around that yeah. um, just because that's not our service. But you can go see all those cool data points um, once you get that set up. All right, cool. Uh, last thing I want to show you the team show everyone here is exactly what to do once this is in here. So once you're in here, it's going to give you a ton of data. It's going to start grabbing all the content you've already done. And like I said, once you sign up, we'll reach out to help you make sure all the softwares are connected and synced, but give it about what, Jimmy, a day and all your analytics and stats will be in here? Uh, it takes between five and 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> when you load everything in the platform, um, you'll get an email letting you know when it's ready. And um, if you don't mind, go to the recommendations tab really quick. Yeah, we got that right here. We pulled up okay, earlier. Perfect. So this is the first thing I you see, right? Um, it's 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 the second. It's it's right after the overview. But basically, you load your information within a day or hours. You will see. Um, I used to think I'd hope that we had artificial intelligence. We don't. It's just business intelligence. But this site here, you can see they have an issue with their bounce rate. They don't have goal funnel tracking. They have not added LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. And they have half of a percent of spam traffic. And they have 2% international traffic. And if you're not doing business outside the United States, then and if you're not doing business in Shanghai, this is kind of one of the first things you do when you log into the platform is to see if there's any errors or issues. And our platform pulls out automatically I think seven or eight issues, if you have them, you can immediately go to work and start fixing problems. Same thing. That's awesome. Hey, stop spending so much time on your Facebook and your LinkedIn, trying to get more traffic and clients and website clicks. Spend a little bit of time setting these up right and your website and your conversions will skyrocket. Yeah. You don't you need think, a lot yeah. from Google. Yeah. If you think about 84% of your traffic leaving your website, I don't know how many views this, uh, go to the website, go, go to the website performance or overview. Perfect. So 5,000 visits and 80% of them are leaving the site. I'm very glad that Brad didn't build this site. I'm, I'm logged um, into five different accounts. <laughs> <are you? laughs> so if, if you have a 76% bounce rate, it's probably yeah. related to mobile issues. You've got images that are too big. Go down to page speed insights on the left. Oh yeah. Look, look at that. That was all I saw was red. I think they need to um, it update may be their website. The, the, <laughs> Yeah, there might be some. Um, oh yeah, I don't think they like the red. Month. Oh, they may not have. That may be a brand new loaded site. Yep. Yeah. Um, anyway, the the PageSpeed Insights 
um, will tell you what images need to be resized. It'll give you any issue that is on. Try April again. Yeah, let me go here. What do you think, March? Yeah. This might um, be good to see also. Yeah, SEO performance. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, it's too much red. <laughs> it is too much red. It's it's alerting our system. Yep. I mean, that was one thing that really helped us with this site was we were like, hey, why is the SEO down? And that's something you can look at. If you're paying anyone for marketing, if you're paying anyone for SEO or for website updates, when you sign up for this, you're going to see what they're doing and what they're not doing for you. And that is not something to go back and fire them or be mad at them about. They just don't have a software like this to track it. You can go back and say, can you please fix this? Yes. And so if you're paying anyone for any marketing or content, go back and say, can you please fix this? This is some errors I see. And then they'll fix it and you'll start improving from there. So one thing we saw with this, once we put them on the dashboard, is how um, their SEO has been dropping dramatically. And we were instantly able to go see that they were using an app that blocked their page. It was like a, a dummy block and ba basically just sending people to a landing page. Google doesn't like that. So we're, we're able to go instantly get rid of that block and then start growing the SEO. Again, you can see the revenue is already up a little bit since we started working on that. So what you don't know won't hurt you is not true. <laughs> what you don't know is hurting you a lot, especially yeah. for your website and your Google channels. And all you got to do is connect your stuff in here. You can see everything that's hurting you, fix it, spend your time there um, from on Google and making sure everything's working or you're going to miss out on a lot of sales and conversions. I also wanted to show once you get signed up and you get your uh, Google My Business listing all set up, make sure you get it connected so we can start seeing those sales from there. So this is a recent business that we set up on here and uh, we didn't set up their products yet. Their products were not on their Google My Business. So what we did was we went and said, get us more five-star reviews, start posting your blog post on here. And now we're starting to add their products. Um, we, only three so far as a test but we're going to add all their products here so we can come back to the dashboard and we can start seeing those sales and revenue, how many clicks, how many views. I mean, that's crazy. Almost 20,000 views, 366 actions. That's pretty cool. Um, now we can start seeing which products are selling on Google and which ones aren't. Um, anything else we should cover once they set up their account, Jimmy, anything else we should cover to show them in here to make sure that they are tracking? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we have a 14 day free trial and within the first day, you get an audit of anything that is, uh, you know, an issue. And over the course of the 14 days, we will go through and do Zoom calls and, and help you organize and get everything situated. And at the end of that two week period of time, you should have a marginally, measurably improved business outlook because you have a baseline. You've been able to spend a couple of weeks and improve any of those metrics that are costing you money. 100%. And of course, we'll reach out to you if you need any help. Yep. Um, Brett will be reaching out to you. Jimmy will reach out. I'll reach out. We'll see, hey, do you need any help? We'll help you get it connected. And of course, if you want us to actually do it for you, um, you can always hire us to do it for you. But do it, try doing it on your own first, totally fine, getting that software set up. But follow this worksheet. I'll be emailing you um, and we'll keep adding to this, right, Jimmy? We should keep adding more tips on here. Yeah, if you wanna add, uh, add coupons in there after number six, that would be perfect. Beautiful. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. Hopefully it brought you a ton of value. Um, Jimmy, thank you for joining me today. Great insights. You're very welcome. Which by the way, the insights engine, great insights. I like there it. There you go, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, and if you already have a Google My Business profile, go work on it every week. Put it in your calendar to work out on every Monday or Friday. Whenever you have 30 minutes is all you really need to do something. Google wants to see that you're using their platform. So just use it a little bit. Um, and then you can up it to three times a week. So every day 
the more the better. I would rather put more time into that than I would on any social media accounts, just because that's where people are searching. So thanks again for watching everyone. And of course, let us know if you need any help, we'll send you this link so you can check this out soon. We'll talk to you thanks soon. Thanks for having us, Brad. Everybody take care. Have a great day.